Hey, what's going on guys? It has been a while starting a new series today. Trying out EFP 4.0. We're doing a new game and I'm gonna do a different faction as well. I'm, uh, I'm thinking we've done the loners, we've done the mercenaries, and we've done the military. I think it's time for a bandit playthrough. As you can see, there's a lot of enemies, not very many friendlies. Uh, the mercenaries and freedom are my only friendlies. So this is gonna be really tough. This might, I think this might be like the hardest faction to play as. We're gonna try it out though. I think it'll make for a good series. I, uh, don't worry, those of you who really were enjoying the Gamma series, Gamma's not gone, those saves are still there. But, uh, I've taken a little bit of a break, I needed to, and I apologize for that. But, it is what it is. Let's see, I'm gonna have to pick a loadout. We're not gonna be able to have a lot. Um, let's grab this. That's only three points. Which one of these backpacks holds the most? 41, 34. It'd be great if I could hold this one. That's four points. Let's see if I can make that work. All right, all we need is a gun. Oh, we don't have, we don't start with a PDA. Okay, I need a PDA. A survival machete? Yo, I want that. <laughs> this thing is awesome. Nine by 18 is probably gonna be the most common. PB is suppressed. It only costs one. So let's grab that. This is my loadout. Uh, this, this is it. We're gonna be a bandit with a machete and a, and a PB. Before I load in here, uh, for those of you who just want the gameplay, you want to get right into it, just skip ahead a little bit. Um, for those of you who want to know why I haven't uploaded the last three weeks, uh, feel free to listen for a minute. Uh, it's nothing crazy, nothing bad happened. I'm, I am okay, which is good. But um, for those of you who don't know, which none of you do, because why would you? I've been smoking nicotine for the last seven years, and that's kind of a long time because I am only 24. So, uh, yeah, I'm not proud of that. Um, it is what it is. And about a month ago, I said enough's enough and I quit just cold turkey. And ever since I quit, I've just felt miserable and very unmotivated and generally unhappy, uh, which really sucks. And obviously I'm feeling better now. Uh, I just had to kind of get over it, but that was just, it was just a really shitty time and it's over now. I mean, I smoked cigarettes for about three years and then I went on to vaping for about four years. And so that's that's what I was quitting. And when I quit cigarettes, it was like honestly not that hard because I was still vaping. I was still getting the nicotine. So quitting vaping was actually way harder than cigarettes, surprisingly. Um, but, you know, I did it. I'm glad I did it. It's behind me now. And, I, uh, you know, I'm just I'm upset that I let it get in the way of this, of YouTube, of everything. But uh, hopefully that can just be that and it's in the past now. So from here on out, things should get a bit more normal upload schedule and all that. Uh, but that, that is what has been going on with me. I've just been losing my mind a little bit. So I am, I am back. I'm excited to start this new series and we will just go from there. So anyway, yeah, appreciate you listening. If you care, if not, let's get into the game and we are in a building. Somewhere. Um. Well. Am I in Dead City? Hang on. I think I need to jump out this window. Yeah, I just about went insane. Yeah, insanity. These are. Look at all these skills. There's so many more skills in EFP. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, I went and looked at, like, all the change log or just, like, kind of everything that EFP has now. And to be honest. You know, obviously EFP is like more, there we go, I can finally see. EFP is like obviously more uh, like hardcore, arguably more difficult. And there's gonna be a lot more like combat scenarios and shit's just gonna hit the fan more often, which is great. Um, but they've added in base building and uh, basically like a lot of the best parts of Gamma ooh, are, uh, are now here, so. I have some, I have some serious settings to go and change keybinds and things like that. So, but yeah, we'll be able to do like a base and all the cool stuff. And uh, also need to load up these magazines. Okay, so I am a bandit. Freedom and mercenaries are the only two factions other than other bandits. That'll be like friendly-ish. So this is a mercenary camp. 
I gotta find Sultan, I believe. I've never played as a bandit before, so this is gonna be interesting. Do I have a light? I do not have a light. I have no flashlight. Oh man, and it's dark. Gather intel report back. Low level risk, acceptable reward. Occasional encounters might happen. I might actually do this right here. Uh, that's just a little scouting mission around the area. Oh wait, so I'm gonna be able to buy guns now. How much money do I have? 5,000 rubles? How much is it for like a shotgun? 13,000, that's not terrible to be honest. Like I'm actually kind of pleased with that. It's just gonna be nice to be able to buy guns. That is gonna be like the biggest difference between this and my Gamma playthroughs. I can actually, like obviously money is extremely hard to get in this mod pack, but once you get it, you can actually use it to buy guns and armor and all the things that Gamma would not let you buy. So I won't be relying as much on crafting. Um, I'm definitely gonna use it more since Gamma kind of forced me to and I know how, which is good. But that's not my only option now. Scout the area around Dead City. Mm. Well, this is not in Dead City no more. This is now, that's Army Warehouse. Okay. It's a boar over there. Three boar over mm. there. I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill those guys. Did one of them die? Okay, we got animations back. <laughs> Salute all that. I love those animations. Didn't have them in Gamma. Dude, I love these new, like, the whole menu looks so good. I guess we gotta go find Sultan because I got this message from him. He said, let me remind you that we're running a business in this place. If you want to stick your ass around, it'll work for me. Come over here to spoil you the details. So he is in Dark Valley, Sultan is which is way over here. So we gotta go. <laughs> oh boy. Um, we have a lot of, we have a lot of places to travel here. First we'll go here, scout the area. It said it was low risk. So I guess we'll try it out. Be our first little mission here. I don't know why the ground is shiny. That's weird. Uh, let's just zero out the gloss factor. See if that fixes that. Uh, I think that looks a little better. The ground is still like slightly shiny, which is odd, but I don't know. If anyone knows what that's all about, can let me know. <laughs> oh, we got uh, some bodies here. Mercenary. Oh my God. Uh, this is actually super lucky. Uh, this MP5 is pretty broken, but I'm gonna take it. And the Glock. And grab the magazines and the ammo. Ah, uh, this guy's loaded too. He's got cold brew coffee, some 5.56. Five, nice. All right, well, I got a sight for the gun. <laughs> this uh, MP5 model looks amazing. Let's move to Army Warehouse. Let's just quickly run over here and see what this mission is. I don't even know exactly what I'm supposed to do. It says it's a scouting mission, so I, I shouldn't have to fight anyone. He said I, I may run into some enemies. Dude, look at these character models. Like... That looks good. I, I miss having these character models. It's been a while. My mission is right over is there. Bad. That is like not where I want to go though. Damn it. All right, where, where exactly? Oh, okay. That was it. I just need to literally scout the area and now I can leave. All right, so the next one that I need to go to is straight this way. Are you an enemy? Yes, he is. Uh, there's zombies over there. I should probably just run. All right. Uh. Somebody else is shooting. Oh, ouch. I do have a bandage, right? Uh, no, that's not a bandage. I just used the whole med kit. Whoops. Oh my god, how do you get so close? Bro. <laughs> okay, uh, that was first gunfight. I'm bleeding. I really need to find a bandage. Hopefully, one of these guys has one. What is this? Surgical instruments? Is that good? I doubt it. I gotta find a bandage. Pronto. 
He has a bandage. All right, perfect. There we go. And yeah, we're good. I was a little bit lucky, to be honest. Pretty sure if I remember correctly that this, the EFP has a, a mod where my actual, the incline that which you run or move on is, kind of affects how much stamina you gain or lose. So yeah, like I'm sprinting down a hill, so I'm not losing very much stamina, because that's not a very hard task. But if I sprint up a hill, I would lose it faster than, uh, than just like running on a plain surface. That is a, that's freedom, pretty sure. Uh, mission updated. Okay, so that, I've scouted this area. Oh god, I think he's shooting at me. I'm out. <laughs> There's something here. Is that an energy drink? Yes. That's good, that's good. Uh, that's a lot of gunshots. I know Monolith can spawn here, but I don't think Monolith are gonna spawn this early into my world. They would all be traveling down from the northern areas still, I think. Unless I'm a liar. Is this monolith right here? Holy shit, you're joking. Senior private. Is this monolith? Who is this? His patch is gone, so I don't know. Alright. Uh, mission updated. Scouting area. Am I done? Okay, yeah, I finished it. Alright, let's run back to Dead City and turn this in. That's all I had to do, was run around the area. Is this, uh... Which ammo do I have in this? Four and half mag. Ow. Freaking ecologist in there. I don't know where this guy went. I don't have another bandage. Oh my god, I just got so lucky. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I just got another bandage off that body. Okay. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I am pushing my luck. Oh, okay, that was a little bit intense. Oh god, radiation. Ugh. All right. About half health. I've lost a little bit of torso uh, integrity. Oh, if anyone wants to know how to show your FPS in Stalker, uh, just put in RS stats like that. RS stats one. There it is. Okay. Holy shit. Somewhere in here it'll say FPS. All right. Let's go see what what we get for doing our little scouting mission. Doing some grunt work for the mercenaries right off the bat. You know. Hopefully they. Hopefully he pays us. All right. Job's done. Three K. That's a lot more than I expected to be honest. That's pretty good. Um. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Later. Uh. Now that gives us. Almost 10k, and can I sell you any of these? No, I can. I could sell them the suppressor. All right, take the take those. Now I got 10k. Uh, a multi tool. Let's buy a multi tool for sure. I, I'd probably find one eventually, but I got a little bit of money, so let's just do that. Uh, I'm gonna go upstairs and try and buy some food before we go and head to the bandit camp. All right, what's up, Mercs? Uh, you. <laughs> How much is food? Can I afford that? Yeah, okay. Let's buy a can of beans and some tobacco. Mutant hunt. In dead city. A humanoid north of the abandoned school. Let's do this. Oh, chill, boys. <laughs> He's reaching. All right. Yep, he's feeling good. I like it. I like the, uh, the new look. The, the, the inventory screen is super clean. Looks really nice. It said it's a humanoid something. I don't know what this could be. Hopefully it's nothing too crazy. Oh, that's a fracture. Um. That was it. All right. I'm not sure why he was stuck. What's funny is I've actually seen I've seen mutants get stuck there before, like in previous playthroughs. It's really strange. This machete is awesome. <laughs> I think it was definitely worth starting with the machete. I've never done that before. 
This mission is complete. I can go turn it in and should get a little bit more money. And then I can head to the bandit camp for real this time. Oh my gosh, you gave me... All right, that was super worth it. I just got 8,000, almost 9,000 more rubles. Yeah. All right, let's buy all that. Back to 5,000 rubles. <laughs> but we're pretty... We're pretty good, pretty set, prepared for, uh, for whatever now. Okay, we are now ready to go and find Sultan, who is way out here. So I need to head south. Hold on, this is gonna be a kind of a wild journey. Definitely can't go to Rostock, that's not an option. I'm gonna have to come from Garbage. I have to go to Yantar, and then Agriprom, and then Garbage, and then Dark Valley. Oof. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta go uh, straight south. I need to get to this agriprom exit. That's the uh, factory. That If I get close to that, my head will explode, essentially. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're gonna avoid that. I know there's some pretty crazy radiation pockets around here, too. So hopefully I don't run into those. Yeah, ecologists are not my friend. This is like the first playthrough I've done where the ecologists are not my friends. Which is going to be really interesting because I don't know how I'm supposed to get the uh, Psy protector, the helmet, that keeps me from dying in zones like that. Alright, Agriprom, yes. We made it. Hello, Agriprom. Oh, there's kitties. I think I killed one. Killed two. Just this big one left. Alright, it's dead. <laughs> nice. Right, uh, let's quickly repack these bags. I'm dead. I am a dead son of a bitch. <laughs> no. Oh, what the f I can't kill this thing. How would I? I'll do my best. I will do my best. Oh, God! <laughs> I'm pretty sure Chimera was my first death in the last two playthroughs now that I've done. Yeah, there's no surviving that. Not right now. I, I don't have any weapon to... I mean, this 9x18 is not going to kill it, and neither is my, my MP5. Let's just run. I might be able to just outrun it. That would be ideal. One of the biggest differences I've, I'm noticing between this and Gamma uh, is the soundtrack, or lack thereof, I should say. Oh my god, the radiation. Holy shit. Uh, there's probably, there could be mercenaries, loners, military, there could be, or ecologists there. Uh, that fire's lit, that's not good. Ooh, I'm getting close to this heli, but I got to. Oh, okay, that was an ecologist. It's actually good, ecologists aren't too heavily armed, usually. Better watch it, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> that was such a good shot. <laughs> was he alone? Oh, it's my lucky day. Alright. Oh, look at that! Freaking TOZ in good condition. That's so good. Alright, I'm out. Thank you. <laughs> oh, dude. We got ourselves a shotgun. And it's got slugs in it, which is okay, I guess. I'm gonna go through this top exit, because there should be bandits near the uh, train hangar. And if I can, I'll actually go in there and sell, sell all the uh, mutant parts that I've gathered. First day in the zone is not going too bad, boys. It's actually, uh, things are kind of working out. I already got a shotgun. Got an MP5 that I can fix up eventually. Uh, what is all that? Leather boots, rubles. I need all that. Alright, just gotta follow this road out, and we will be that much closer to our bandit friends. What what kind of missions do bandits do, you know? That's what I'm here to find out. Oh. Uh. 
Hello, fog. That dude's standing there looking super ominous. And there's a little head of another- that looks like a bandit, actually. That dude's mm. head on the right. Yes? That's Would totally a bandit. Yo! First bandit. He wants a Geiger counter? I don't got one of those, sorry bud. No idea who's in control of the outpost right now. Probably not bandits though, they usually get clapped. That mm, should be another bandit. Alright. Oh! Oh. Are they returning fire? Did they just kill him? Oh no no, he's still up. Uh, I think that's a loner up there. Yeah, my bandits! My boys! Yeah, go get them! Go get them! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Alright, we taking this. We taking this. You better not go loot that body, dude. I know that's what you're trying to do. Uh, first stalker kill. Let's go. More uh, shotgun ammo. That's good. That's good. Functional hammers. Field strip. Remove hammers. There we go. Definitely worth buying that multi tool. Uh. Who is that? That looks like the enemy. Oh! Ow! <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I'm hurting a little bit now. That was, uh... I just got shot in the head. Okay. Most people don't survive that. I must be special. Yeah, got a bit of a contusion going. Uh, I see a lot of bodies out there. It's a lot of bodies. Okay, who's this? Another free stalker. Dead. That's how they should be. Alright, let's get down there and try and loot some of that stuff before those other bandits do. Dude, my vision is so messed up. Can I do anything about that? Oh my god, look at the condition of my gas mask, bro. Gas mask is almost broken. Who are you? Bandit. Did you loot all this? Oh man. I didn't get any of the loot. Oh, I got a bandage. That's good. Oh, this guy's got some loot. Bro, there is loot everywhere. I don't know who that is. Hopefully he doesn't notice me. Dude, he's got a rifle repair kit. Ow! That was not cool. I see, I saw him, but I just didn't know what faction he was, so. I, I gotta get that mod, like, ASAP. Ooh, three lockpicks, that's good. He was military, okay. Functional barrel, functional bolt carrier. Let's take the barrel. That's a good barrel, nice. Oh, we're making progress, boys. We are making progress. Uh, it's getting late. It's 1800. But we don't have very far to go. We've almost spent the whole day and, uh, we just have to get just over here. We're not far, we're not far. Let's save. Uh, I'm gonna real quickly add that mod that'll let me identify factions by aiming at them. Uh, do I need a cooking kit to roast this? I don't. I can just cook it like that. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this, and then stay by the fire so I don't get too radiated. Alright, we're chilling. Nice. I'm gonna go get those mods real fast. I'll be right back. Two things that I changed. One, well, I have the faction identification patch added. Hopefully. I'm gonna test and see if that works. Uh, as well as that, and my god, this looks crazy. Oh, and it does work, as you can see. Unknown, unknown, unknown. And then if I check the body, I know his name now is Vitka Outlander. When I look at him, Vitka Outlander. Rookie. Unknown, unknown. Pretty sick. Really good mod to have. Especially if, um, if you always get shot because you don't know what faction you're looking at. <laughs> like me. Uh, I added that as well as my PDA beeps. 
now instead of the vibration the buzzing i really don't like the the vibrating sound vibration should be felt not heard uh maybe maybe that's just me maybe you guys also agree with that i don't know oh you know what i should go for the exit that's back here that'll bring me up on the north end of dark valley which is right by the base yeah, I think I need to add some ambient music. I think uh, in the next video, I think I'll probably add in a, a mod for ambient, some ambient music. I just feel like I had it with Gamma and I really enjoyed it. Sometimes it was like actually really creepy, but I thought it added a lot to the whole experience. So without it, it feels like it's missing something, you know? Oh, what? Oh! Oh! Leave me alone. Oh my god, why is this thing not loaded? Oh, because I took parts off of it. Okay. I'm so glad there was a rock here. I was so screwed. Oh, I'm still kind of screwed. I'm not sure how to handle this. It's getting so dark, dude. I don't have a light of any kind. Oh, come on. Don't jam. All right. There we go. Jeez. All right, three or dead. There's bandits nearby I saw on the PDA. A campfire here, but I don't want to stay here. It's getting dark, which means more mutants are going to come out. So I just need to hurry up and get to this camp. Excuse me. One oh god, that scared me. <laughs> Alright, it just bled out. Alright, it's getting way too dark to see. Uh, I think, you know what? There's actually a bed, like, right here. Uh, bear with me, guys. We're about to have light. I found it. Alright. Uh, sleep. Eight. That's fine. Ah! Dude, what? Okay, uh... I just woke up to zombies being in my little bed place. No, thank you. I hear dogs too. Surely they won't like climb up here, right? Uh, I need to eat. Dude, <laughs> okay. Did anyone else hear them come upstairs? I sure didn't. My leg's gone. Alright, well that was like the worst sleep I think I've ever gotten in this game. My leg's busted, so what can I do? I'll use this. Can I stack those? I can. Let's use that again. There we go. Okay. The limbs are okay. Pretty good at finding their way up the stairs of a building for a blind dog. But hey, we made it. This is it. We are in the bandit camp. Opa, Antibiotics and bandage for free. And side block. And a storage container for my junk. This looks a lot like him. Alright, I think I found him, boys. Sultan, welcome to my citadel. Everything that goes down in the surrounding valley is either under my control or will be soon. When you get tired of the shitty life, you come work for me. Then you get the good life. That's how we roll, Friendo. <laughs> you must be sold. Yeah, son. That's right. This guy talks like me a little bit. And I've earned my name. Marched down here from Zatzen in the nick of time. Cleared out the mutants swarming this place. Saved the defenders, recruiting them into my gang. Got the whole building back up and running. Many around here still owe me their lives. And they don't forget it. Of course, I ain't all sunshine and rainbows. Not sure if you heard why I was marching down from Zadden in the first place. Yeah, I heard you got stood up by some jackass pretending to be your friend. Whatever the douchebag's name was. I'm gonna rip him a new one. 
Okay. His name is Alexander. But don't fret about him. You're a brave man, son. But even his ass is a barred metal maze. You can have the biggest dick in the world and you still wouldn't be getting in. Okay. He'll get what's coming to him. Don't worry. Just trust that your Sultan has got this one. Okay, Sultan, you've got this. Any advice for dealing with the people around here? Never trust anyone unless you see the black and white skull on their sleeves. Most stalkers are out to get you whenever they can. So don't go out giving them chances with a soft heart. Now, some mercs are okay, as is freedom, but don't mistake that acceptance for love. They'll still put the wool over your eyes if they think they can get away with it. You look smart though, so you'll figure things out soon enough. Just remember, if you feel something's off, don't wait for words or bullets. Just get your ass out of there. Rather you get back alive so that the snitches you tried to cop you don't get the drop on the rest of your family. Okay. This is, uh, this is like giving me some like uh, Italian like mafioso vibes, you know. <laughs> there are people here in the zone who need things done for them. Some of these things cannot be done, shall we say, inside of regular channels. So they come to me. I arrange to take care of business for them. In return, I expect them to pay me a very hefty sum. I will give you a list of these people. Go to them. Do what they ask, collect payment. All it requires you give me 20% of what they pay when you are finished. Any money you make on the side while you're out is there, out there is yours to keep. Good deal, yes. It's more money than you would make pickpocketing and looting stashes and sticking up rookies. I guarantee you. Just don't double cross me, understand? I know everyone in this place, and they can be very motivated to make examples of anyone who tries to rip me off. Now get out of my sight, I have important business to attend to. <laughs> See you later. New mission, meet with Griffith. Okay. Pretty cool character. Honestly, I I didn't... It's more than what I expected from the bandit leader. Alright, so where is this Griffith? What? Is this for real, for real, for real? Griffith is in the outskirts of Pripyat? Can I even get there without dying? No, because I gotta pass through radar. That's interesting. Someone... <laughs> Someone's gonna have to explain that one to me. I have no idea how I'm supposed to meet up with that guy. Uh, let me check his jobs and just see what else he has. Mob hit. See, I told you. I told you this is some mafia shit. It's called mob hit. So squatters are moved into the farm sound south. They refuse to pay rent and are even scaring prospective tenants away. They simply won't go. To take some guys and politely, politely escort them out. Okay. Eviction notice? Well, that's a few missions. Oh, I actually got some companions on that one. Oh, I see. All right, so just south of here, this is, okay, eviction notice. So I gotta take these guys down south and go take that mission out. I think that's probably what I'll be doing next. Well, we got uh, we got a decent start going. Um, EFP is looking pretty sick. I have no idea why the game expects me to get all the way up to the outskirts of Pripyat this soon. Um, because I have no psi protection, I have no psi helmet, and I'm not sure if I can get a psi helmet from the uh, from the guy in Yontar. So I'll have to let the comments help me out on that one. You guys, let me know uh, because I have no idea how I'm supposed to get up there. I think this will do it for the first episode. This is EFP. Uh, I'm liking it a lot it's pretty sick really appreciate you guys watching this video be sure to drop a like if you want to see another episode of this and i will see you on the next one